It's Thank like you. Cape, it's like Cape Canaveral. Um, <laughs> what would you say? Though? Is there a penny difference or a dollar difference? No, no, it's in the account number. No. I don't. I mean, I don't think it matters. I just want to point it out. Oh, I see. Clerk, treasurer, collector salaries. I see. Okay. Okay. When we get to it. All right. We've Who got cares, right? Yeah. We take a minute or two to look over the uh, the minutes from the February 22nd. I hate to keep pointing out. January 22nd. That's the agenda on top. Yeah. And then it's from the 20, January 22nd. Yeah. Uh, Bruce? Yeah. You have me as absent. Uh-oh. Which I agree uh, guess with. Guess what? Hey. But then you have me Miracles approving. never cease. <laughs> you have me voting on items. Oh, I, it should be a C. Sorry. P.S. P. Everything is a C. Glad you can make How's it. How's it going? Sorry. So all those J files should be J yep. pack, I J -Pack. guess, right? Yeah. Thank you. Huh? No. I think so. You got a different one. Oh, good. Oh, good. I made all the corrections. I think it's roughly the same. I can accept that it's printed. That's correct. Well, right. right. I'll, I'll second it. A couple of things. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, it's corrected. And and the correct corrections are uh, seconds for us on motions. Okay. All those in favor of the minutes? 501? I stay. One abstention, so 501. I wasn't here, so. <clears throat> okay. So, could I talk to Bob one point before we get sure. going? Sure. Last time we had a meeting two weeks ago, I called uh, Barbara Hancock to try and clarify the unemployment benefits on which system we are on. She looked up in the thing, the town voted on January 1st, 2006, that we pay all the claims. What happens is, normally you pay in a certain amount of money to unemployment insurance, and then you just file, and the unemployment insurance company takes care of it, the, town, the state. Right. In this case, the state takes care of it, but they bill the town of Deerfield and we don't pay premiums. I just want to make sure that's clear to everybody. So the state it, pays the town. Well, the, the town. No, the, the state pays, pays the board. claims to the people, and then they build a town of Deerfield, and the town of Deerfield pays. They have what they call reimbursable. This is what she wrote to me. The town of Deerfield elected to change its method of payments for financing unemployment benefits from the contributory method of payments to payments in lieu of contributions, reimbursable, as of January 1st, 2006. The town has continued this method through today. Therefore, the town incurs an unemployment expense only if there is a claim. So I just want to make sure people know that. It's good if the claims are low. Yeah. Then it's good. It would yeah. normally be low just because our people never quit. They stay here yeah. until they retire. Yeah. And that's true, right? I do have a special legislation we have to put a, uh, take a hand off the hook for some of the teacher situation that could you know, make a blessing a cost yep. and a computing problem. So I weighed in on that with our legislators to let them know that could yeah. really benefit the town. So. Well, normally you can collect them to six months or nine months, and then after that, it goes on to an extended policy that the state has. But how that works, I don't know. I just know that I want to make sure it's clear because we went back and forth two, three times on that. But we do pay just for the unemployment claims. And that's why I've seen before where when we did that, we used to turn around and give some of the people who were laid off a hard time because they weren't really laid off. They were just kind of collecting, but yet we had to pay for it. I'm all set, Skip. Thank you. Okay. We're going to add one more budget to look at tonight. Uh, it, the number is 9-11-5400. It's the Franklin County Regional Retirement, and that's part of Barbara's. So when she's here, we'll 
take that on. Okay. Uh, John Cotier sent me a, an email saying you would be unable to make the meeting tonight. So, gentlemen, it's all yours. Pam and says that uh, that's part of him teaching you how to do the job. <laughs> <laughs> probably. He's heard that before, probably. So the first one we're going to look at are the assessor's salaries. Yep. Number 141, 5100. Yeah, so we're just asking, um, I think a few years ago when the um, salaries for the select board members went, was increased, uh, we decided that, I mean, I guess the history has been that the salaries have kind of coincided with the select board member salary, so we decided to increase it just slowly yep. until we got closer in range. Yeah. So that's what that increase is for. We'll just sit here today. Well, I, I, which one? This is 141. 712. 5100. It's the second one. On. So it's a $500 increase per. That's what we've done since. since and it still will not be enough to put you on to uh, county retirement, right? I have no, no idea. No. You need $5,000 a year to be on county retirement. Yes. Okay. That's the reason Carolyn pushed for that two years ago. Okay. Um, but I totally agree with you. You should be going up. I have a question. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, this does not include the district's um, correct salary. So correct. That's about twenty three, twenty four dollars a year. Uh, maybe for Karen, it might be. I'm not sure what she gets. For a stipend, yeah. ours is probably about 700, 700 total yeah. between the three of them. Okay. I thought it was about 700 just for the uh, it was, district. Yeah, it I mean, maybe it's 70. I don't know. It's, it's I, think right it's, I don't, I don't, I don't think the others pay much. No, they're, they're a lot smaller. Yeah. $100. Yeah. Or, so you're yeah. pretty, getting pretty close with that salary being equal to the, the yeah, pretty, uh, select. Yeah. Select. yeah. Yeah. Would you hold um, the combination to be equal to the slot limit at some point? Um, I think I think the intent is to be in line over time. Okay, so you're very close now. So um, my feeling is yes. I've, I've done the work. I know the numbers wouldn't be tonight, but uh, yeah. So I mean, this this is the close. I guess this is for the the town, and then the stuff for the districts is a separate I'm work just, that we I'm, do for them. But, yeah. But yeah, I mean, we can have that conversation next year. When okay. We, yeah. Anyone else? Comment? Questions? Make salary? a motion we approve the assessor salaries. We have the assessor salaries at eleven thousand dollars total for next year. That's eleven thousand for all three. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And that's recommended, right? Who seconded? I'm sorry. I second. And the vote? Um, I didn't take a hand count, so no, they just stick their hands up or whatever. Or, oh, no, I just want to. I vote four or five. I abstain. Abstain. Okay. So it's five zero one? Yep. The uh, second one is assessor's administrative assistant salary. That's 141.5110. Otherwise, not as the assessor's clerk. Yeah, that, I don't think we have any input as far as the search Karen salary goes. Um, am I correct? Yeah. No. It's uh, it's a step increase, um, taking into account that we have a leap year, so there's an an extra day of work included. Is that a correct number? You got assessors, admins, assistant salary, fifty nine thousand or forty nine thousand? Fifty nine thousand six eighty five in total with her longevity pay. Can you explain that? Uh, she's the reason I asked that is because last year 
It was like forty-five thousand. Now it's going up from forty-five yeah, was, to sixty thousand. No, no. It was fifty-seven. Yeah, it was fifty-seven thousand. It was forty-five back in. 14. Should be fifty-seven oh sixteen according to the according to the sheet. Right. You're looking at one forty-one dash five one one zero. Yeah. John. Oh no. Up to the um, so the only increase in this line item is uh, the salary about 4.7 percent is this on these salary increases is it based on the personnel recommendation not not at the, yes, or is at it this based point. on the step plus the cola it's, it's just just a, just a step at this point, um, just a step based, at this based point. on the personnel board's recommendation. Okay. So if we were to vote the, this, and there's a change later, we have to revote. This the select board asked me to go ahead and print as is because they can't make a decision. So. Understood. So yes. So there would be two votes if if they change their mind. If they make up their mind. If they make up their mind. Can somebody explain that indecision to me? I wish I could. Okay. I can't. There's no okay. No, no wish I could too. There's one, one undecided and two decided. Okay. And the two that are decided on are, are on oh. opposite ends. Right. So you need a, two more slot persons. <laughs> As to what? The new salary schedule? Whether yeah. to add the COLA in addition to the step. So what about people that don't get steps? Do they get the COLA? Yes. That, that was the proposal from the person, well, the people at the top of the scale. That's what it used to be. Awesome. Each year somebody would get a step increase and that included the cost of living adjustment. Until you run out of steps, right? Right. Until you run out of steps. And then you get the cost of living adjustment to stay parity with the... Uh, now you get either or? Now you can get both. Now or they're trying to... Or. The problem both is that they're either. trying to push both of them. And the problem is we can't afford both. That's the issue. We Sorry. literally cannot afford both. We can't, can't give them a maximum increase and a cost of living on top of that. We can't yeah. afford the step. That, not not, two not with a two and a half percent limit. That's what my ask was. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. Everybody has heartburn with that. So last year we and did propose um, a step in the COLA and the raise was a 6.2 percent increase. So this year, if there, was, if there was a COLA, it would be 6.68. Increase in salary. So, but as long as we can vote it again. So, so that increase, though, when you look at that 4.68%, is because you're adding day pay as well. So, it's not just the step. Right. So, it's not just the step. Right. So, it's not just the step. Right. Oh, the dollar value, that's correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it increases Which by 0.04%. 0.04%. Yeah. Because it's the same dollar amount. Between steps. You're going to have this conversation numerous times before April 20th. Okay, well, I just want to make sure if we <laughs> vote this, we have the opportunity to vote again if we have to. Uh, you can that's vote your as many decision. times as you want. Yeah, that's your decision. Okay. Maybe we should hold off on it. I don't know. That's well, that we, we're getting to the point with these where if we do make a change, or let me just step back. If, if the salary schedule changes from the discussion <clears throat> that the selectmen had four or five weeks ago. This is, as I understand it, this is that recommendation. The selectmen, uh, I don't know if it's a recommendation, but it's, well, it is. It's their recommendation to town meeting if, if it stays where it is. <clears throat> but it was the recommendation that the personnel committee made. Yes, it was. So that's mm -hmm. what, what the salary is. Mm -hmm. uh, there may be a vote, you know, it, it isn't without trying on my part and Brenda's and others to get the board to just vote. I put on multiple agendas. My understanding, the latest to, to respond to your question, explanation from an undecided member is that they wanted to wait to this, I think it's this week's Board of Oversight for the SCEMS meeting, where the other towns are saying, you need to come to us bef before you adopt the, the schedule because it affects us as well. So that was articulated to me. So hopefully at the next meeting the board has, it will make that decision on the salaries. Unfortunately, the SCEMS meeting was pushed back to uh, the 26th. 
Well, I think the board is meeting again on the thirtieth. I don't know. It was my understanding it was pushed pushed off until March. Which? The Slutman's decision. Uh, that. That may be changing. Last I meeting? don't know. We don't know. Diana, we, we're well, that, those actually, they actually said at the meeting. That that right. And then yesterday there were other conversations. Well, so that, maybe maybe but during this so, month that will happen. So, so February twenty sixth. Their next yes. meeting. When did that happen? So. Um, okay. What? Well, got me. It's yeah. not for want of trying <coughs> on our end that this you know to make have this decision be made. So. And if if it changes, then these figures would change. Yeah, and we'll revote them. Uh, well, I guess yeah, I, 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 I agree with that much one way or the other. To be honest with you, it was we needed we needed to talk about salaries. Uh, I don't want to guess. I, we got the capital improvement committee got put into a position the other the other night, and I really don't appreciate it for people that are putting in their time and effort in that with the indecisions and and, and Wait and see. Uh, right and just it goes on and on and on it's a ripple effect through every committee and I think it's very unfair they they push to have the capital improvement committee vote on an article for a special town meeting with just draft word to recommend it and I think that is totally insane yeah. I am sorry. I, I would mm -hmm. never do that. I, I just can't believe that you? they would ask and put a committee in the position. Here we are again now, and we're looking at salaries, and it just it's either yes or no. And yeah. that's that's See? our leadership. Now it puts us in a position here of we're trying to move this budget along, and we're stuck. Once again, myself, Personally, I, I know we can vote this, but is it a guarantee that if all of a sudden they change their mind going to do the COLA, that is it a guarantee that we're going to come back and re-vote this? Are we just going to spin our wheels and waste our time? And I, you know, I'm at a point well, where... <clears throat> I guess what it boils down to is this. At town meeting, and let's move to town meeting for discussion purposes, mm -hmm. there's going to be a salary schedule presented. Yep. And whatever the town does with that that's what's going to be reflected ultimately in the budget mm -hmm. so yet we are recommending this budget in many ways we're recommending this budget but the town could change the budget oh and I, I, so I understand that i understand but we should be recommending something that's fixed and set we shouldn't be recommending a moving target and that's that's what i'm saying i'm i'm i feel like we're trying to recommend a moving target on a couple of committees that I'm sitting on. I'm, I'm just shaking my head and saying, am I spinning my wheels? Am I wasting my time? Should I just resign and say, that's it? Let somebody else volunteer and waste their time? I don't know. You know, the, the town's asking people to come in, spend their time on these committees and take it seriously and try to do a good job and try to do what's best for the town of Deerfield. And then we run into these situations where time after time after time, we're trying to recommend or vote on something that continues to be a moving target. And, and I'm not saying, Skip, I think you've no. done a great job. You, no, I, I understand uh, you, what you're Brenda, saying. Brenda, you too. You know, you're trying to, you, uh, I, you know, you're doing the best you can under the circumstances. I guess what's happening right now for me is there's a little frustration boiling over here. And I don't know if it's affecting other Allison, people also. if you want to say something, you've got to speak up for yourself. Well, I have to interrupt you. <laughs> <laughs> you raise your hand. Move the microphone a little bit um, I, I hear that frustration that it's a moving, a moving target. I think for the purposes of this committee on this day, I would like to move to approve or to recommend this item, but relook at it if it changes and if the other board's recommendations change. I think for efficiency's sake, it'd be nice to get it done today if it doesn't change, and I would move to approve it. And if, I'll just add. With the contingency, yeah. Okay. Why don't you make that a motion and I'll okay. second it. I make a motion, yeah. I did, yeah. I think I said it twice. I make a motion <laughs> to recommend this item, um, the assessor, assessor's administrative assistance salary, um, with the contingency that if the recommendations of the other boards change that we Bring it forward again. Second. The, uh, I'm sorry, I don't understand the motion. 
I'm not Did sure. Make back the motion. I, no, I'm not sure. I understand the motion. I want the motion was to approve this as I understand that now, part, but the continuous. and if it's a moving target and somebody changes it later, that we will automatically come back to relook at it. But Skip said we might not have the opportunity. It might be decided on town meeting floor. Oh. Well, if it were to well, split, everything it, we do gets decided that was on the town meeting floor. And, and even so, if it changes before then, and we don't get time to come back to it, we will have documented that we approved it in this moment with the information that well, we have. Yeah. And and that'll at least be, so that'll be for there all, for the town. All salary budgets. Yeah, I, I, for from my perspective, I'd rather check them off with the information we have and a commitment to come back to them if they change. At them. some point, as we did last year, that salary schedule will come to this committee for its recommendation. Not that I recall. Yeah. No. It's it's an item it's an item on the agenda. Oh the agenda oh, item. I mean it's an it's item an on, on, on the town, town meeting. meeting. Yeah. yeah. And and we mm -hmm. do we if it's financial we have to we, we have on it. Yep. One way or the other. Okay. So that'll be our vote. If if it changes and if we if it if it comes to us, yeah, well, I'm not going to speculate. I am not I either. I, I just want to know speculate. what our options are. That's, so so but typically, I think, if it doesn't come back to us, our option is to look at the article and make a decision. At that point, if there's a change, if there's no change, we don't, we can, we've already, and, made, already approved it. And if the selectmen say, look, we're going to make a different recommendation than we made before, yeah. and we're going to change it, then you know, it will come to us. Uh, I certainly won't hold it up, even if, even if you know, you know my position, I know your position, and even if it's not my position that I think we're going to support, it's going to come for a vote. Okay. Well, I understand. Okay. So we will have a chance to vote. Now, having said that. Now, can we move the question? Yes. Any, any more debate? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? So I'll that's abstain. a one abstention? Yep. So it's a five, is that five zero one? No, one abstention, yes. Uh, and it was Jeff. It was Jeff. Does make a difference? Five zero one. Okay. The next one: assessor's expenses. One forty one fifty four hundred. The next page. Which one? One forty one fifty four hundred. Ex assessor's expense. So everything is pretty much level except for technology, which Karen just explained. Um, and I spoke to her before the meeting. I guess there's some software and server upgrades that mm -hmm. are yep. being done throughout the town offices. So that's that, that's the, what the that assessors, increases for. The assessor server needs to be. Does that got anything to do with the capital request for? Well, it's, it's no, $2,741, like $2, so. No, but a five-year plan, there was some money for other, other, other. That's a different thing? Yeah, yeah that was a different oh, thing. The I archive, believe. the mystery of the archive. And it, we realize that every year we've been um, not really spending what's been budgeted in total. Um, and I think a lot of that has been, we haven't been able to attend the summer conference and the UMass school. Um, we've only, I think, gone to that a couple times. So that's about $5,200 that hasn't been being spent. Okay. We're, Wait, I mean, we're hoping to, you know, get there at some point. But. Yeah, I think you budget for it and hope that you can go. And then yeah, and if can. there's a lot of changes or something, or if we really need to go, then but we'll go. Can I ask a question that's on fine. technology? Um, mm -hmm. Before we move off, and I don't know whether you're the one to answer this or not, but don't we typically, or haven't we typically had technology as a separate account? Yes. It changes. For, <laughs> for, and, and for town going, hall generally, but I think this is really specific to the assessor's office. Yeah. So, so I think that's why that's in their, okay. in their budget, correct? Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, this is a, can I ask Yeah, sure. Right come on up, come up, sit here. <laughs> Because I, in the part of the technology project, 
Um, so we have, as part of our technology project in total, I think I mentioned before, we are going to create a um, domain network. Mm -hmm. um, and then part of the assessors getting onto that network is this upgrade that's in the assessor's budget. So this is specific to the assessors and what they need to do to upgrade their technology to join into what we're going to do for our project. So this is just their portion. And this has to do with their Patriot um, their Patriot stuff that has to connect. So their, that Patriot has to be upgraded. So there will be one domain for the entire town hall. Correct. Yes. All the departments, will, if they have software that needs to be uploaded to this, will be have a technology increase? No, I'm, I'm sorry, Bruce. What, what's well, the question? We've increased one. Right. One. Are we going to increase the other budgets, like Skip is asking? So basically, we are. I think two things have been happening. We have some money in dedicated IT, and then some of the departments have also been putting IT in their budgets. So I think what we're trying to do is keep all of the IT for the network and the, and the town hall project in totality together. But if the department has a portion that they have to do that's specific to their department, then we are keeping it there for now. Like it's kind of been the way it, it always it's, has it's been that way. The police so have their own server. The police are completely separate okay. now from the town hall. Right. And the uh, inspections office will be. They'll be part of the town hall. Their software is not. Specific it's not proprietary. They don't have any proprietary okay. software. Thank it's you. just part of this whatever we have. This has to do with building inspections, right? Correct. This is just for the assessors. This has to do with their just Patriot the right? um, stuff that they have that connects to our server. Okay. Any, thank you. Any further questions? I just want to add, last year we, we did have the police. There was something we had in ours yeah. uh, that was police budget. We moved it. They took it back under their budget, specific to their department. So. That software, I don't remember the name of the software. Okay. If there are no further, uh, any further discussion, could I have a motion? I'll make a motion to recommend this item. I'll second it. <coughs> it's been moved and seconded to recommend the assessor's uh, expenses at, at $24,335. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? So, 600. Assessor's uh, quinquennial recertification. $20,000 the last few years, $22,500 this year. I assume that's just to bring you back to the, so that you have the total of, what, $100,000? Well, a lot of it's um, due to personal property accounts, I guess. Okay. It wasn't included in the, the contract. Um, okay. And they gave Karen an estimate of $50 per account, um, and there's... 400 accounts or something, if, you know, so if they looked at them all yeah. over five years, okay. which they won't, but so that's what that is for. Okay. Any we're heading on the actual to January, we're heading to be way over budget if it continues. We spent 78% of the appropriated money. Well, the, yeah, I think they've done 78% of their work. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And it's a, a five year contract. Yeah, we. So, so this is one year's portion of it, not. Yeah. Right, right, right. I don't know. I look at you know the last three things we voted. <laughs> the increases are like, let's see, sixteen percent, thirteen percent. Now it's thirteen percent. Seems to be a theme. Is there any way we can like cut back? Well, can't, if everybody did that. I mean, we've asked all the departments to do uh, level service. Level, level well, service. we didn't ask. Level service. Well, yeah. Slotman asked, I believe. So. Well, I do have a question because I know that contract on the one who procured it, and I don't know why it's going up. Is that the one that you I guess it wasn't in the one before that either. Yeah. Um, well then. Yeah, but we it's we yeah it. noted for. Yeah. The next one. 
Any additional questions, comments? Can I have a motion? Move that we uh, report the assessor's quintennial recertification for $22,500. I second. Moved, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? I oppose. I'm hoping they can maybe find another way. Okay, 510. Uh, before, that's the last of the assessors. Before we go, I had, when I at, talked to the assessors last week and when I emailed everyone, I did want to take some of the, or look at some of their expertise and have them comment on the requirements for debt exclusion, overrides, whatever. We are, we are going to be facing a number of those, I think, this year. So I'd like to have your input on what's the procedure that, as you understand it, for uh, debt exclusions. And in particular, we've got a situation with Frontier where they appear, appears that they're going to be asking us to for money that the only way we can we can get it is with a debt exclusion. How does that work with Frontier? Uh, do you know? I don't know. All right, Frontier. Does anyone else know? <laughs> Good. Why, John? I've been through it. I didn't know you. You and I are. I mean, that's what I believe. Really Frontier has been through Well, enlighten us. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I, I still know. think you're both the project. I mean, the debt I, I haven't had a chance to look at the, the agreement, so I don't know if what your region, you know, how your regional agreement is laid out. But generally, whenever you have a debt exclusion, you have to vote the project, whatever the project is, and then you only would be able to exclude your percentage of the project that you're going to put in your budget. If you vote the debt exclusion. If you vote the debt exclusion. And if you don't right. vote the debt exclusion. Then you'd have to put that within your budget. You have to raise it. You have to raise it otherwise. Yeah. You have to raise it. Within out of our regular budget, correct. Within the limits of the two and a half, two and a half. Yes. which within we will already be at, or an override, point. one or the other. Well, if it couldn't be an override, if it's not, that's what it. Yeah, we'd have to do. It's the same thing. Debt exclusion override. We don't get. Or it. we would have well, to. Well, they're, they're the same but different. Because the, the override is permanent. Right. Right. Yeah. It was, yeah. But if we didn't get a debt exclusion, I don't know that we'd get an override. <laughs> yeah, right. Seems yeah. like it'd be the same. Yeah. <laughs> or we have to cut budgets. Correct. Yes, it'd have to be done within the levy. Or use something like stabilization right. or use or free cash. Correct, right. Some available funds. Well, so stabilization. So do we believe that they bring the entire capital bond to our town meeting and we're voting on all of it and we pay a portion of it? Or we normally mm -hmm. you, what they do is they want to get $1.8 million and they want the money now, so they want to bond it. Yeah. What they have to do is they have to get all four towns to approve the budget. In total. On that item. In total. And to me, my recommendation is that we turn around and debt exclude it, which means that whatever it goes up each year, it will only go up and that's added on top of the budget that we normally have. If we don't do that, then that's going to take priority to over all the regular increases, including pay increases, and everything, and that's bad for the town. So what we should do is we should turn around and debt exclude it right up front. So and we got to recommend that strongly to the selectmen because they have to yep. add that to the article. article. That's what I was saying. That they have to put it in there subject to a debt exclusion vote, and that has to be a yes or no vote mm -hmm. at the May town at the May election. Yes, right. being what you So would you have to you would exclude it in total the election? Both, yes. Would so you exclude the total right away and then, or exclude it as you go? Isn't it a five-year plan or a no, ten year? it's a 10-year plan, actually. Yeah, but and they're, they're going to borrow as they go. No, right? they're going to borrow all at once. They're going to borrow all at once and we give could, us the bill. You, you do a debt exclusion servicing where it covers for all the years. Yeah, it, you, you, the debt, it's, only, it's on the debt service. Basically, but when you, you're the only thing we're going to be paying them is yes. if they're bonding it. But it could be over the... I mean, if they, they, if they voted, you know, to appropriate or to, to bond $5 million and they did it over 20 years, 
then they're only going to be paying back $250,000 a year plus mm -hmm. interest. So that's the only thing that we would be paying right. on an right. individual and, year And it would be whatever your okay. portion of that would be yes. right, yeah, as yeah, part yeah, of your yeah. assessment, and then you would exclude, that would be what is excluded, your portion right. of that. So one of the concerns right. that I have with, with that is a lot of what they're going to be doing is essentially maintenance. To the building it's or repairs it's not reconstruction it's not additions what can be debt excluded and what is not allowed to be debt excluded what is actually part of the budget their operating budget that's the question that I have. I think that's partially a legal question on whether they it can is. bond it because there's certain, you know, Mass General Law tells you what things you can actually borrow for. So maintenance isn't one of them, I don't believe. I wouldn't think so. I don't think they're framing it that way. No, no. Right. Yeah, I don't either because they've already talked about bonding for everything, haven't they? They've been talking right. about borrowing and it's right. a question of whether they can legitimately borrow are they assuming it, or I don't know. know. Well, uh, I thought they had somebody from the FERC helping them April out. April fourth. Yes, I believe they're both. Right? No, not April fourth. Yeah, it's something it like April that. 4th. It is April fourth. I just, yeah. you just said something. Part. It was Joe Markarian who helped them. You've all seen the schedule. Yes. Joe right. worked for the Department of Revenue. He's actually the one who did the report for the town and the town five, six years ago. Um, so he would know, having worked for the Department of Revenue and serving on the Finance Committee in his own town, whether the, what they're putting forward as a, as a, you know, a borrowing bond, whatever proposal, whether it's something that can be or can't be. Um, so I think, you know, as we all know, uh, deferred maintenance becomes not the same as repairs at a certain point, and I, I think that's probably what they're betting on. Capital improvements. We have the expert that just came in who represented us on that committee. Yeah. We, we were just <laughs> talking about uh, Frontier. Actually, it would include Deerfield to some extent, the elementary school. It's a capital project. But Frontier's because of the fact that there are four towns, the complexity that's there. And I never quite got an understanding of what the financing was, what Frontier anticipated the financing would look like. And rather than wait until the night before town meeting, it would be nice to have that. I, I think they do plan to, um, I, do, I believe that board plans to visit all the finance committees and sweat boards and, um, and market what they want to do and how they, how they hope to, to get paid for. Um, because unless they do a good job of selling that, they're not going to get they're not going to get the funds. But I, that was voiced at the last meeting. I know that they wanted to make sure that they didn't want to just you know send it out to into all the towns without having um, having a you know a plan and, and selling that. So um, I assume that they're working on that shortly. And we'll be visiting all of you soon. Specific stuff I could grab in the book. Here. Oh, you got a little Did you get a copy? Well, I got a copy, although I can't honestly say that I understood it. Yes. Uh, I think that's their idea to try and help help with that, break it a little bit more for you. Like what the plan is to do. Who is going to come around and tell us? I, my guess it would be the, um, and I'm stabbing here, but it would be uh, Darius Minesu, the superintendent, and probably a few members of the, of the subcommittee. Would not. I think that was the, the that was the general consensus of the meeting that I was in on that committee is that we wanted to make sure that we um, gathered all that information and, and went out and, and, and sold it to the townspeople and, and to all the finance committees. And can they give us a copy of that vote now? Yes. We want to make sure that it includes an override and a vote position on our voting day. We want to make sure that that doesn't come out of our regular budget. That's, we want to have. Yeah, that's up to us to, to decide right. how, how we want to pay for it. 
Well, and also I think how we present it. How we present it. Right. Exactly. So what they're saying is they want 1.8 million and they want our 48% right up front? Is that what they're saying? I thought they had a payment schedule where they were going to borrow the money, do what they had to do, and then give us a payment schedule for 10 years. Yeah, I think that's what their, their plan is, and then it's up to us to decide how we want to pay for that. You know, they're not telling us how to So we we it. decide to borrow again. Or, do or it. pay. Or or pay it. Mm -hmm. Well, they, well we, we need to decide. Well, they're just going to give you your yearly assessment. If the project they, is they, they should out, be doing the, the financing. Towns. So it's under one thing. They have to get permission from all four towns to borrow. I and then that's, I think it has to be yeah. debt excluded so it doesn't come out of our regular budget. I believe that's And that, I will support I that. I believe that's the way we, yeah, because if it was just going to be assessments, it was never going to pass. So that, that we, we had told them it has to be a debt excluded. Okay. Yeah, so that's, that's the goal that they're working on. Yeah. So it's not a line item budget. I, in, their, in their budget, it won't be a no, line item. No, I don't believe It'll be so. an assessment to the town. So It'll basically be the same thing as what Franklin County Tech School did a right. couple of years ago. Where they came in, they sold it on town meeting floor. Yes. Everybody votes in, and then what you do is you get assessed each year for your percentage yep. of that Correct. job. Correct. Yes, and we were going to hopefully, you know, be able to debt exclude it. That, I mean, that was really as long as it's debt that. excluded, I can support it. If it's not debt excluded, I right. can't. You just don't have it in the budget. We we can't take that out of the budget, and we can't give forty eight percent of one point eight million dollars in one year. Oh no no yeah definitely not not that wasn't the plan. All right, Skip, you're still on the floor for, uh, you know, mm -hmm. we got a lot more questions for you. <laughs> so, and Chuck, <Angela. laughs> do, you, do you see we, the, the complexity that, at least to some extent, maybe when we get, by the time we get to town meeting, it'll be understood, but. Uh, that's just one project. Hmm? Right. He wants to tell you about the sewer plan. No. And that's a major project in itself, but it's going to be several phases. And the problem is that that thing should be debt excluded also because the total could run up to 25 to 35 million dollars over the next 10 years. 35 years. Okay. But only a portion of that would be debt excluded. Right, right. All of it. All, All of it. I, I don't sure. think enterprise funds can debt exclude. No, they can't. No. no. Just, with, just well, with the taxpayers. Well, would our, our, our portion, yes. Yeah, the 25%. Yes. Right. The 25%, yeah. right. Okay. Okay. Because if it's 100%, I'm going to. Sell my house and move. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you buy mine, I'll buy yours. We'll, we'll, well, we'll put it this way: whether it's debt excluded or not, you're going to pay for it. <laughs> well, the, the users get double taxed. Yeah, yeah. At least. At least. <laughs> they pay closer to eighty percent than seventy-five. There was one other that. Uh, They covered all of those that send them. Oh, sorry. What? All the projects? Yes. I don't know. Have I? Yeah. Have we? Have at least talked about it? Didn't bring the email. We definitely will need to have a, you know, yeah. financing parallel. Well, well, no, that was your letter. Mm -hmm. I think you got it wrong. Yeah. yeah. The, the sewer was two parts. Um, project coming up. Um, yeah, the sewer was dollars. the initial yeah. part and then a continuing so, part. Yeah. So it's, it's basically a majority vote of the select board, right? And then the town majority vote to, yeah, to, to I pass don't it. Know if that's what, um, is that the only thing that hasn't been mentioned tonight is the immediate project at hand. See, that's, that's what John what said. He didn't want to be here tonight, so you can learn to figure this stuff out. <laughs> so the immediate that's project. Part of the teaching. So I think there is two parts to it the immediate project, which is a million. Mm -hmm. Or a million five, whatever. Or whatever the dollar, just for round numbers. And how's that million, being paid for? Seventy-five, seventy, seven hundred fifty thousand by the users. Mm -hmm. Twenty-five thousand by twenty-five percent by yeah. taxation. Now, can we debt exclude the twenty-five percent of that? Yeah. Or should we? Well, if if everybody votes on it, then you can. Project's going to be voted at the special town meeting. Special again. town meeting in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Right. So oh, I know what the question I had. This is a separate vote, right? There's, yeah, yeah. There's so that's, two separate votes. There's, there's one for the repair of the South Deerfield Waste Water Treatment Plant. Debt exclusion. No. 
<coughs> no. So I think we, we don't know how it's going to well, be presented. Well, we're not going to vote it contingent on it. That exclusion because it has to be done. has to be done. But the select board can't decide on a debt exclusion. Well, they can put it forward to vote. Right, right. To right. a ballot. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. can okay. decide to put it To put it on the ballot, yes. Right. Yeah. The... Uh, the question, the question is this. I realize that, uh, that the enterprise fund can't, and there's, there's no rationale to do with that exclusion. There's a question for you. That money, the million, let's take the million dollars, nice easy one, 750000 are supposed to be paid by the sewer users, 250000 by the taxpayers. Uh, it's, it would be my belief, understanding, that the entire $1 million, at some point along the way, the town is on the hook for it. We need to get the $750,000 billed to the users so that it's paid for. But like anything else in the town, the town itself is responsible overall for that we have yeah. we've done we've done this. this that's right we've yeah. we've done this before but even just now we've already had this point through um with the bond council for the million dollars and our fiscal advisor and looked at it so so how are we going to do it certainly sort through that knowing the 75 uh, percent town councils looked at it and um, uh borrowing experts are pretty okay all the details so so they're saying it's okay to borrow the million dollars, a full fund, whatever it is, and the town will take and make payments each year for however long that bond is, and all the people who are sewer users will have to pay their percentage share it's over the next. It's written in the book. That we're okay. Say. It's written in the book. Yeah. Okay. Is that written yet? Mm -hmm. well, and it's and it's if it's a primary motion, yeah, it won't be in the article, but there is a draft of the motion. And the percentage would have to be articulated in the motion. Yes. So. And in the event that for some reason or other the enterprise fund was unable to pay for it, then the town would be liable to pay for it. Right. The language in the original article says that the town will pay a minimum of 25% up to two-thirds or 66%. So the town can actually decide pay between those two. They've already months. made that vote in 1935. Now that's what it says every time that you vote, it's going to be put that forth that way. So that's what the original language in the sewer yep. origination says, that when you vote, that's what the town needs to decide, whether you're going to pay the minimum of the 25 up to, up to the amount. Now the, the draft motion that we're presenting says that, that you're going to pay the, the 25. Um, and that the users will have to pay the difference. So, is that what legal counsel has determined? Yes. My understanding was legal counsel determined that it was 75 25. Right. No. Yeah. So, yeah, two thirds, two -thirds. I thought it was one third. So right. Two thirds. It says, it says 25% up to two thirds. Well, that's that's right. the language actually says. That's what's in the plan. Copy what's right here. Right. The reason that becomes a problem is that everybody's that comes to the town meeting is a taxpayer. So, I mean, the, if the users outnumber the non-users, it's going to be 66%, right? Um, no, I, I the, don't the, 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 the We're voting on the vote, which we already worded. And you worded it such that it's a maximum of 25%. I think the motion should be cut and dry and clear. It should be a 2575 with no guesswork in between. Otherwise, especially when you're talking about. Somebody could amend the motion, right? Somebody could amend the motion. Especially when you're talking about doing it at a special town meeting. Yeah, that's right. I don't even know why we're doing it at a special town meeting. If we're going to be questioning on the floor at a special town meeting what the percentage should be, I think you're doing a disservice to the entire town. No, in that, in that should not be. It's it's in the language says 75, 25. Right. If Just somebody steps up and wants to do a motion, change that motion. You right. can't stop that. But that's, but the, you know, right. we're moving forward with 25, 75. All right, fine. That's our, so the motion that makes sense. 
That way you have the follow through right from 1935 to now. Correct. And that's okay, the way, well, that was an initial vote question, and that's the way it should stay. There's questions brought up about the language in the article because some of it says must and some says may. Mm -hmm. So that's why I wanted to, you know, at least articulate this, this dialogue. But what I'm trying to get to is ultimately if for some reason the enterprise fund is unable to pay its share, the town would be obligated to pay that. Yes. yes. Correct? One way or the other. Yeah. It's got to be. It's the town bond. And that portion that's the I don't up to sixty six percent. Not necessarily the town that. Yeah. Go ahead. That's that's why. I, uh, I don't know if right how an enterprise fund works, but I would expect that they're responsible for their budget and their right. deficit. If they were over um, spending, I think there must be some mechanisms for uh, either changing. I don't know. I think but I'm just saying we can't that. overspend a, a, a budget. I'm not sure if there's some way. With an enterprise fund, you generally will subsidize if there is a shortfall. Um, but uh, not having not experienced that yet, I don't know. Shouldn't the rates be adjusted before? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, what you do is you budget. When you prepare your budget, it needs to be a balanced budget. So, um, but that is true. That oftentimes there are enterprise funds who that do need to be subsidized by the town. So it wouldn't necessarily be that you have to pay the debt. But if the enterprise fund had a shortage, the town may have to subsidize that. Just, yeah, like, just it, like we do with stamps. If it had to subsidize that, mm -hmm. in this case, the, the, the cost of uh, the repair or rebuilding of, of the sewer plant, is that debt excluded also or not? And that's a good question. So you, where would you end that, up stepping in and having to, to pay some of that debt? Where would that money come from? A hundred thousand. Oh, you have another vote, correct? Right. No. Come from us. Well, that's a lot of that's a right. lot of speculation. Yeah, that, would, that would that would imply that we didn't have money you know, in the enterprise. We have to look at changing no, the user no, rates. No, There's that's a lot not. Of we're that we not speculating. I'm asking not to speculate. Well, and I'm asking you. Excuse me. Let me finish. I'm, I'm asking you to tell me what happens if the enterprise fund can't pay and the town is obligated, is that portion that we're obligated to, can we exclude that debt from, from the debt level, from the tax level? And is there some way of writing that into the, uh, the article so that we, we, we're covered? I mean, the expectation is it's not gonna be a problem. But, and, and this, first, this first million dollars that we're talking about, that's small potatoes compared to the 30, million dollars that's coming after. I, I think, Skip, when you when you do the debt exclusion vote, you exclude the project. Okay, that's so the that's that the question. Be the answer. That would be fine. So the town borrows are making debt exclude, so they would exclude the entire project. Yeah, with uh, whatever we're gonna paying. do what Frank County Regional High School is doing. <coughs> we're gonna assess We'll be assessing the enterprise fund every year? Essentially. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, I would say so. Assessing? Just, it would be doing the so same the thing that Franklin County High School, Regional High School is doing with their bond. We'd be... What, what, we, what we would most likely do is have a capital projects fund for the entire project. So the town would be contributing to that capital projects fund and the enterprise <laughs> fund would be contributing to that capital projects fund to get it done. Um, any interest that's that's owing on the uh, bond itself would be borne in their separate budgets. So if the town's doing 25%, the interest and the and the debt payment is in 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 the town's general fund, and the enterprise portion is in the enterprise budget. So if it passes the town meeting, there will be a new budget sheet. No, there won't be a new budget sheet. There will be a capital projects fund. Would we have to fund? No, I think you mean the interest. It's it's just it's just a fund set up for any capital projects, just like we have the garage in a in a How capital projects the, oh, fund. Okay. You know that sort of thing. 
Is the interest part of that capital projects fund also? No. Interest interest can never be paid out of the capital projects fund. It has to be paid by our, uh, our budget, the town's budget. budget, and the enterprise fund's budget in this case. Yeah, my, my question was, I just wanted to make sure that the town was covered in the event of some sort of a default uh, by the wastewater treatment plant by the enterprise fund and the, the town would be able to exclude, we have to pay it. I mean, I'm not arguing that, but I'd like to make sure that we can exclude that. Can't we just make it, taxes. we're going to have to vote, the town's going to have to vote to pay 100% if the need should arise. As part of that vote, can't we just say, if the need does arise, it'll be debt excluded? In that same well, motion? I think the whole project should be debt excluded. Should be right. Yeah. Automatically right up front. This million dollars and whatever else comes follows on for this project. Well, each I one agree. Each one of those. Makes sense, John. Well, yeah, you got to vote each one each year. But meanwhile, as it's building up, it should automatically be debt excluded. And if we vote the whole project for improvements for both plants, even though we may not be putting money into Old Deerfield for a few years, it should be all voted at the same time. And if we have to have another vote to confirm a confirmatory vote next year or the year after and the following year, that's fine. But we should try and put that language in up front to that exclude the entire project and all the repairs that are necessary. So it looks like the selectmen have some work to do. Yeah. They're working like that. It, it just, I mean, I, 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 I there's a small sure. number of people at this special town meeting that's really problematic to me that we're doing a million dollar debt exclusion. When is the meeting? What day? 25th. 25th. Of February? Yeah. Of this month. Three, three weeks from yesterday. I mean, it's, if you're lucky to get 50 people. Well, what bothers me about more. this whole vote is one thing. Suppose the people say, no, I don't want to pay for it. Right. And if you don't want to pay for it, that's a possibility. What happens then is we just keep going until we get fined. And when we get fined... It's tomorrow we get fined. <laughs> you start getting fined $10,000 per day. It don't take long to rack up $300,000 in a month. And guess where that goes? You guys can tell us where that goes because it goes on the top of the recap sheet above all the taxes. That's where that, that goes. <laughs> and that's one of the questions I'm going to ask you at town meeting. If somebody says, well, what if we vote this down? I'm going to say there's a cost associated yeah, <laughs> with it. <laughs> so then I'm going to ask her about it. As a professor, where does that go on the tax recap sheet? <laughs> the top. <laughs> well, I already know where it goes. So I'm just, what happens is you have to put the questions out there so they understand there's a cost associated with it. The town owns the sewer treatment plant, whether they want them or not. And that's one of the reasons we turn around and try to build up business in this town. And that's why we get 20% of our taxes come in from business, which helps us tremendously. That helps everybody in town, not just the sewer users. She's got a question for you, Mr. Yeah, Chair. Well. I was waiting for you to finish. I didn't want to. I, I, off my bandwagon. I guess I just wanted to say that it seems that for the February special, we're talking about the, the article, um, but we're not talking about doing the debt exclusion vote until after the annual. So there would be an opportunity at the annual town meeting to have a discussion. That one because I mean, we, I mean, we have to think about how, if, if that was a, 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 you know, something we wanted to do, certainly in terms of, our, or, or when we're going to articulate the, the cost, as you said, of not, if we didn't the, exclude If all we're going to do the debt exclude, if we need a debt exclusion vote, mm -hmm. a ballot, yes. and we're going to do the ballot at the annual election, you surely cannot wait till the week before. No, no, no. I'm saying we would already decided to do it and have it, but I'm and, saying we have the opportunity to talk about it, to, to articulate the costs associated with well, it. Well, that needs to be In done December 25th, or February 25th. I agree. 
but you're, 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 what I hear you saying is you're concerned about who might be there and how many people might be there. That's you know, always the way it is. That's why That's what I'm we had to fight to get a quorum because a quorum is 35 people for a special town meeting. We used to have to empty out the Polish club and the library to get them all. <laughs> don't, don't go any further. Right. I guess That's it's enough. enough. <laughs> so I have one go ahead. question. Oh, this was, yeah. so the, main, the million dollars that we're voting in, the million dollars that we're voting in in a special town meeting needs to be spent. Um, we need to pay the consultant to do the work. Is that correct? That's part of it. Part of it. What's the other part? The actual work. Okay. So, uh, so the debt exclusion really can't happen at the annual town meeting, can it? No, I'm talking about the debt. Ex the, the vote to actually the do the debt exclusion right. would, would occur after the annual. No, I'm I'm not suggesting you wait until then. I'm saying you would you have to let the town clerk know at least 35 days right. before you have the election. So as soon as, I assume it's already been, I've been gone for a week, but I assume you've already decided that you're going to hold a debt exclusion. But yeah. if not, yeah. that needs to be decided very soon. And I assumed it would be in, in conjunction with the annual election. And all I'm saying is that we still have more time between now and then to articulate the, uh, the what would happen if, the, if it wasn't debt exclusion. Because we need to have the special time meeting vote regardless. We're not, we, we, there's, we, we can't make that vote contingent right. on a debt exclusion. Right. But we really need to debt exclude right. it. So we need to articulate to folks what it means if we don't debt exclude it. And we want to do that on February 25th, but I'm saying we still have more time beyond that to continue to have that Yeah, discussion. but then if they voted down. I'm saying if, it, if, the, if it's voted on February 25th, yeah. we're still going to have a debt exclusion vote. Yeah. Well, Correct. a ballot. I mean, a ballot. ballot vote, but a ballot vote in May. Right. Mm -hmm. Correct. But we've right. already spent the money, started spending money. Correct. Between those two time frames. Well, the, the, I'm not talking, that's, oh. I don't know, that has nothing to do with what I'm saying about spending the money. I'm just saying that we have time to articulate how important it is to have the debt exclusion before the debt exclusion vote. <laughs> that's Does that make not sense? Us. No. no. I, I think. <laughs> If, I think that it, it sounds like you're planning to plant seeds so that people understand the importance of the debt exclusion well before it actually comes to vote. Yes, what I'm and suggesting is that can start to happen right. early yes. so that that vote, when we're ready for it, won't be a high risk yes. um, town meeting vote. Right. It'll be a it'll be a vote that everybody really understands why it's right. so important. I'm suggesting that we have we have time. The board of selectmen or the select board has to at their meetings between now and May have di dialogue about the, the debt exclusion and what it is going to cost to the voters, you know, to debt exclude it and whatnot, that information so they can make an educated decision when they get to the ballot box. So I'm not sure what you're saying, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm so saying that that gonna, doesn't we, all have to be done by February 25th. By so, February 25th, so we, we need to vote, get the vote So we can the vote project. the million dollar project on February 25th. Correct. And then on May, whatever it was, 4th, 5th, whatever the date is, 6th, we could vote down the debt exclusion. Right. Correct. Yeah. And, that could and then happen. how do we pay for the project? Then it would have to come out of available funds in the levy. Yeah. But that's what we need to articulate to people. And do we know there, there are available funds if it's not. That's what so I'm let me saying. be let me be yes. clear. If that's not on if that vote doesn't include a contingent for debt exclusion on February twenty fifth then I'm going to recommend to the taxpayers that they vote it down. Right. I understand okay? what you're saying. Right. And I'm saying that I've heard me We have recommend no way of paying for it unless we do a debt exclusion. But, we, but as, as John articulated, we have to do the project. So if we are risking, if we make it contingent on a debt exclusion and, it fa and, and then the debt exclusion fails in May, then now we're going back to a town meeting. May I say something? I think if you just simply explain the difference between the options, mm -hmm. people understand that the debt exclusion in the long run will benefit them. Right. Correct. And if you it's explain a how for everybody. It's right, a necessity. It's, an it's absolute it, necessity. everybody benefits from it. Right. Instead of having it built into your tax base. Right. 
Correct. No, I agree. I think we absolutely I mean, need to let people know. So if, if you just do a simple explanation of your two options there, well, I say two options. I think you bring it down to two options. I think most people understand that. And this would be a good exercise for the 11.5 million that we're going to need. Mm -hmm. For Jeff, the next phase. For the next phase. And Jeff, do you think that should be done on February 25th? And then I think you should start selling it now. Start this right week. at every public meeting. Say, right. you know, we have we have this coming up on the special town meeting. Should be on and the, explain uh, it. Web on yeah. the, the uh, TV channel. Right. And yeah. You could even do on when, the cable access. When yeah. we put the roof on the school, part of that motion. Expli explicitly required that it be debt excluded. If mm -hmm. not, then it wasn't funded. I don't know when we built the school, when we, I don't remember when we built the highway garage, whether that, but I, at some point. That was debt excluded. It was debt excluded, but I'm, I'm going to guess, but I'm only guessing that was part of the original motion. I think it was. And I would hate to see anything that didn't include that. I think the town needs to understand that it can't just pass this thing and then not vote to debt exclude it. Right. I think that right, it's got to be subject to the debt exclusion. I think the alternative, I think the fear is that there's not as much familiarity with the topic until that special town meeting. Mm -hmm. And so there's a mm -hmm. fear of losing that vote. But the alternative is you pay fines if we don't pass the project at all, yeah. right? The, the alternative is, is that more we turn around in, in, in five and weeks I've, or four weeks and you have another town meeting. Right. That's what will happen. Mm -hmm. And we've done that before. We did that for the elementary school I five times. I, I, I guess that some of that depends on the yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess you could, that is the possibility. It's just the project. I know DEP has given us a limited amount of time to, to you know, have movement. So I know that's been... They're having dialogue with DEP to see if that can be extended, but that would be the concern of getting the project done timely. John, you've been involved with all of these. Or John's here to bail you out now. You guys so, have to yeah, <laughs> go home now. I want to. What's your two cents worth on debt exclusions and when they get voted? Well, I think it definitely has to be included in the motion, the original motion, subject to. Debt exclusion. Yeah. 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 See that? Well, you, make, you make it subject to, to but then you spend the money anyway, and then. Well, no, no, no it's if, not you funded can't, if the debt if, exclusion fails. If, if, if the debt also oh, the project's not going to start yeah. until after May, after the vote. No. If no, they vote it down. Control. If they vote it down. There's Forget it. There really isn't a choice. <laughs> you have to do the project. We there understand no, that, but everybody. In town does not understand that. Which is why you don't You've want to put the debt exclusion on it to town begin with. It sounds a lot scary. You come here and say, you I'm not paying 25%. We don't have the money to pay for it. I totally understand Everybody's going to see, let's worry. face it, everybody's going to see a fairly large tax increase here. Yep. There's no question about it. But it just comes down to how long do you want to live with that tax increase. Yeah. The right. debt exclusion will right. limit Temporary the amount of time that you live with that tax increase. Mm -hmm. As far as going not with a debt exclusion, that's going to be built into your tax base and you're going to Forever. live with it for the rest of your life. Right. Yeah. So that's, that's the basic difference. The debt exclusion, if you do it for 10 years or 13 years, whatever the case may be, it ends at that time. Whereas if you do and build it into your tax base, that goes on forever or until you hit that $25 or 1000 max. Yep. One or the other. And that's as simple as you can put it, I think. Okay, any further discussion? I'm staying. There's, there's, nothing, there's nothing to vote. <laughs> You're abstaining already, huh? Chicken. <laughs> okay. The question is, when are we going to take up the motion that they're going to give us? Yeah, we should. We've got to get that pretty soon. So Next we week. You going to vote that tomorrow? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe just the article. Mm -hmm. Just the article. We're trying to get 
trying to get When can we get the language so we can read it and talk about it officially at one of these meetings? On the 26th. Can we just talk about it officially at a meeting? <laughs> well, we're listening to you here in the conversation here, and the staff has been talking, and the board, some members of the board have been talking about it, so we're trying to see where the general consensus is. So that's kept us from My only finalizing thing is we, one. We, we need to do this regardless. And I agree we need to that exclude it. I just don't want the vote contingent on that because one way or the other, we need to do it. I mean, I don't, we don't have a choice. But I think we can do a good enough job selling it to the townspeople good. in that short time frame. So I, do I think just don't it, want to contingent on it. It will help, too. Um, I think people generally respect the, the um, recommendations of the different boards and committees. Absolutely. So, I mean, I think everybody's really generally in don't agreement look, and it's going to, to present and well. And, yeah, I think. But can we make it two votes on this at the special time? Well, I, asked, I, was think, I was just thinking about that, John. I don't, I don't know. Like, vote a million and then another vote for the debt exclusion. And if they say no to the debt exclusion, we know our work is cut out for us. Right. What do we know? <laughs> well, at least the 50 people here didn't like it. <laughs> well, I, I know the question is how we, we need to know how to pay for it. Yeah, that's the bottom line. Where does the money come from? And you know, I well, if they vote yes, if they vote debt exclusions okay on September, I mean uh, February twenty fifth, then we're okay. I now that you, you assume that the thirty five people that came to yeah. that meeting is going to represent the rest of the town voting later. I agree. It's well, no, happen. you're still going you're still going to have a vote at the. Uh, at the annual election. I'm comfortable that our and, it, and debt exclusion. Right, so regardless of what's voted on at the special right, town meeting, it's really not going to hold any water, right? I think that we've talked this one to death because I think that I think that everybody's really in agreement and I think that everybody's opinion and position about the verbiage on that warrant article is pretty clear. So, is that, so what is right? what is that with the debt exclusion? <laughs> the, the finance committee is pretty firm that this item needs to be debt, debt excluded. Right. Okay. Right. Right. And, and so, and so the, the next step is to write that, and you know, then we need to look at it again. So the, the only issue is the contingent. See, this is the right. So, but that, but that, I mean, that verbiage. It sounds like I mean, it's not an item we're even voting on. But there's some pretty strong opinions in the room, and I, I think it'll be taken into consideration. I just think that we're we've beaten it to death. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to move. I'm trying to move along. Well, so as long as we can. I second her. We still need a copy of the motion so we can read it and then yeah. provide final we're going to talk about it again. Yep. Okay. And we got to get it done before the 25th. Yes. We only got two weeks left. Are you guys good? Our meeting Thank starts you. 15 minutes ago, so we're over go. time. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thanks for your input. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you very much. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. All right, moving right along. <laughs> Where are we? We're halfway through three and halfway through four. <laughs> So are you oh, going to yeah. give the same hour as John? I know, we took a little break from yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm on stage. <laughs> good ask him, yeah. Yeah. I don't no, we, it, it's not clear. Okay, yeah. I don't think we should raise it. I'm serious. I'm Based on that. I think that should be more than what we need. It doesn't look good. Got a point where we discuss. Not enough information to put it down. No. Okay, so what do you want? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> <laughs> thank okay. you for the letter, by the way. Oh, you're welcome. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, the first the first item on, that we have is the account salary. I realize that that's 
not barbarous, but mm -hmm. why don't we just go ahead and take care of that. That's 135, 5110. Is that a new one? Is that a new one or an old? It's a new one. All of the salaries are new because I was told to go ahead and print them even though a decision wasn't made. Thirty-five, fifty-one, ten. Yep. Based on prior vote, um, I make. Does anybody motion. have it? Yeah, it's part of the. It's part of the new the packet that came out. I didn't get it. Yeah, you did. One thirty-five dash five one one zero. I printed twelve. I gave I'm out sorry. twelve. There you go. Right on the page. Last page. Last page. First page. <laughs> I have a gold star on mine for finding it. <laughs> there you go. Gotcha. <laughs> Thank you. It's based on the salary schedule, right? Mm -hmm. Because of that, I make a motion we approve the account and salary. Second. Recommend it. Any discussion? Hearing no discussion, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? I'm going to say that's 600. The next item is 145-5100, clerk, treasurer, collector salaries. 5110. 145-5100. 5110. 5110. 5110 is my mistake. Printed wrong. At the end, is the increase is all because of step? Yes. They make a motion, we approve it. Because it's based on the salary schedule. Second. I just want to find it. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, you got a leap year day in there, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Any questions? Any discussion? We have a motion. Do we have a second? Did I, I second. Yeah. Okay. So move seconded. No discussion, no further discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Abstain. One. Five, zero, one. Jeff, did you abstain on the last vote? No, I approved it. Okay. Or recommended. Okay. Uh, the next page, 145, 5410, treasurer, collector, expense. 29,000. That's a decrease of $5,575. Kind of. Thereabouts. Well, it's um, we had the gas be 45 at 6,000 last year, so it's about. Um, I just adjusted for postage, pretty much, mm -hmm. um, a couple hundred dollars. Um, I had uh, adjusted most of my budgets pretty leanly. <laughs> Some of them too leanly, but um, anyway. So. That's what we've got to reserve fund. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so not much change on that. Any questions? Um, Did you find it, John? No. I do have a question for you all, if I could, on this budget. Um, we have to do the GASP 45 or whatever it's called every two years now. It used to be three years. It's every two years. When you say we've so got to do it, you We tell have us, to. It's required to. Did you to, tell us what that is? It's the um, actuarial report that we um, have done uh, to figure out. Um, it p plays into our OPEB. Um, numbers and all of that so we're re it's an accounting report that we're required to do mm -hmm. um, it used to be three years it's two years so now it's appearing in the budget every two years um, I given the firm that I use um, they have offered to do it evenly 3,000 each year so paying when you're you know I don't know so we we could do that Next year, I'm going to have to have the gas be in there at 6,000. So I could put it in there at 3,000. I mean, he had offered that, and we had already budgeted it last time. So yeah. I don't know if that makes uh, so a huge that's difference. That's um, why there's no 6,000 this year. Right, right. Oh, but it'll be back. 000. It'll be back next be year. Back. <laughs> but that's, that's okay. This year, we won't spend 3,000. We'll but do you actually okay. have that money because it didn't go back to free cash? 
Um, you I don't encumber that three thousand. That was spent. No, the six thousand was spent. spent. It's a, it's an expense. So that the gentleman just is just offering year. to break it into two year payments for just me if we'd FY19. like. I yeah. think that would yeah. be better. Yeah. I mean. Okay. So if I just 20, do it. Okay. Well, oh, gotcha. Why spend money up that you don't need to? So it's I don't know why not have a steady budget so you can compare mm -hmm. from year to year. If if we. And you're that. assuming that he's asking me to pay forward. He is. He this isn't. Year. He isn't. Well, so he was that. offering for me to pay three thousand last year and three thousand this year. In other words, do the project and then pay. Oh, so next. So year, you're so assuming next, backwards. So now, now, if you sit, <laughs> right. come back. So next, next year, year, when he does it, he'll bill me three thousand, and then we can pay the fine. second three thousand. Absolutely. Okay. So, so next year's budget will be three thousand dollars. <laughs> mm -hmm. It'll always be three thousand, and then again. Make sure. Um, you yeah. Some yeah. Okay. okay. I just wanted your input. No, that's great. All right. Any for, any discussion on this? Can I have a motion? Make a motion we accept the uh, treasurer collector expense for twenty nine thousand. Seconded. It's moved. Seconded. Uh, if there's no further discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Six zero zero. Uh, the next item one sixty one fifty four hundred town clerk expenses. Mm -hmm. 161. 161. And that's a new. What's, what's that's the number again, Skip? 161. 5400. There is no other 161, I don't think. So you find a Sounds 161. Like expense. Yes. There's the 3,000. <laughs> It's a different three thousand, but yes, there's three thousand. Um, I do, I do put little explanations in there just to kind of recap, yep. um, comparing it to the year before. Generally, um, this budget moves around based on how many elections. Primarily, that's the biggest difference with this budget year to year, mm -hmm. um, depending whether we have two, one, or three elections. Um, aside from that, and town um, meetings, right? Yeah, it's hard to project ahead of time. I mean, you know you're going to have one, but you don't know you're going to have two or three two special or three. town meetings. Yeah. So I don't typically, um, you know, uh, put a whole lot of money in there for special town meetings. So mm. they're not as expensive. I do all the hours anyway, yeah. so um, they're not as ex expensive as a election. Um, but uh, some things that have been um, impacting the election budget is... Um, the early voting, and um, I've spent more on ballots, honestly. We've had a lot of uh, turnout, and um, so some of that, those things have increased. Um, oh, and one thing I wanted to talk to you about on this budget is I have um, $1,000 in to buy a new uh, voting booth. We have four. We have we had, had five. One was broken, and now uh, one of the four remaining is broken. So. I really think that this year and next year, I'd like to um, buy new a new voting. We were actually we could have used a whole nother booth certainly at the last election. Um, I think that, that would have helped. Is that in? Yeah, I put it in elections. I put it in elections. So that's just one. Yeah, it's a thousand dollars. Yeah, and then I'll do maybe do another see see how that goes and if, perhaps do another I was going to say if at the end of the year mm -hmm. depending on what your existing budget looks like yeah if you've got the 1500 I guess, or whatever true. I That's guess I'd just yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and do so, that, that yeah I just uh, thought it'd be nice um, that we're probably going to need no. it for is the one, presidential is one of those handicap yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that one's fine okay um, it's uh, one of the other ones I tried to have Kevin fix it and then uh, we kind of had to really uh, force one of them to stay together okay. at the last election. Um, aside from that. Go ahead, Chris. Um, so we're talking about elections. How many elections do we plan for this year? Just this year? <laughs> no, it's confusing. This year we'll have, uh, this fiscal year, 2020, there'll yep, be two. Be two. Yeah. And we had in, in 2021, there'll be three. Right. 19, so it kind of cycles. 19, we had four? No, three. Three? Yep. Yep. That recodification of the bylaws is yes. all the town bylaws, right? Yes. Not yes. just related to elections. That's true, too. That's a one-time expense. So that's in here this year. I forgot about that. Thank you. Yeah. Um, that finish up finishes up that project. 
Any more questions? Can I have a motion? So moved. Second. Moved, seconded. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Six zero zero. I'd like to know where I get the money for all this. Hmm. The good fairy is going to come and just cause a little. <laughs> uh, the next one. Well, the treasure collector expense went down a lot, so I think we're still good. Yeah. Okay, one, <laughs> oh, yeah, 196, 5400. Um, do you want to stick with barfs for right now and do 710, 5900? Oh, gosh, let's skip those. <laughs> uh, well, sure, but you're not responsive. Don't you do general insurance, or no? No, no oh, okay, that's, I'm that's sorry. By the town administrator. Maturing death, then, right? That would be next, yes. Okay. Which one? 710 5900. Yeah, tonight, right? Yep. Yes. Actually, those were in your box on Friday. Can we take a, sh a short public service I know, announcement? I came in. I know. If you would, if you would indulge me. I should have said something. I, I was about to leave, but I want to, before I go, say to this committee in particular, you are so lucky to have these two women working for this town. I'll second that. And their staff and the assessors. And mm -hmm. but you are so lucky and you know, to treat them well. And and I was gonna say so I, th thank I think you. We, I, I is, do think that we recognize I felt, it too and it's uh, I, felt, I agree. You know how um, what's the word I want? I could relax knowing that the that they were doing a good job and they do and they work hard every single day and go to night meetings when they need to and can't appreciate them enough to you go somewhere you. else and then you'll realize it. Well, thank you, Wendy. Okay, maturing debt. <laughs> this is the principal portion. Yes. Um, so just plugged in the um, payments coming up. Mm -hmm. Of course, um, in my little footnotes at the bottom, there's you know sewer borrowing. I don't. <laughs> I don't know when, what and when that would show up or how or yeah. We, it's a thought. Yeah. We, we, yeah, at this point we don't know. We, let me so put it this it's way. It's, yeah. it's, it's for certain that we will be back to look at this budget yeah. again. Yeah, right. exactly. Yes, we will. This is what we have at the moment. Yes. We've got 95000 for the Oxford loan, mm -hmm. uh, 245000 for the garage, mm -hmm. uh, highway garage, and 100000 on the DES roof. Are these mm -hmm. debt excluded? I'm confused. The not last two are, the first one is not. Correct. So even though it's debt excluded, they show up in the operating budget? Yes, they have to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, they don't yeah. they don't show up. They show up, but there's a there's a debt exclusion mm -hmm. for three hundred and forty five thousand. Right, so they're just automatically odd, added on to your tax levy. Yeah. So when we do the at the town meeting, when we vote the operating budget, we subtract these. We don't include these. No, the, those are are included in in the town meeting. Mm -hmm. What what we do is, if, right. if for example, if we didn't have this in our total, uh, we were able to raise ten million dollars in taxes. Then what we're going to say is we're going to raise ten million three hundred and forty five thousand. Right. That's the. The only difference. It's, it's why I say it's added. So it's added in the bottom, but it's Taken added out. in your top. It's right, added right. to the revenues on top of the tax. Yeah. Does that make any difference? <laughs> if, if you yeah. look at your tax levy sheet that I handed out tonight, you'll yeah. see that that's added in there. Oh, the, I know what you mean as far as the revenue. The principal goes. and the right. interest. Yeah. What it's, thing? It's that? the way municipalities do it. No, no, I get, I get it, but I don't want to. Skip a quick question for you. Moving as, on. As far as uh, with the Oxford, mm -hmm. we have uh, spoken a little bit before, discussed mm -hmm. the possibility yeah, we've, of. We've, we've, uh, all of us have talked. I was just about to mention <clears throat> that um, we did make some accelerated payments, if you will, with the um, sale of the land over there at the Oxford. So we ended up knocking off, uh, you know, six of the uh, later mm -hmm. payments. So. After we pay this one, we'll have only three more scheduled payments for that. Three more yes. scheduled at ninety-five thousand. Correct. That's what we talked about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did get a payoff. It's just under three hundred thousand. If you wanted to pay them off um, this year. Unfortunately, we're running out of money. So. Yeah. Well, so, do you want to vote this tonight, or do you want to just put it on hold and revisit it 
when we see what we have. We got. Just vote what we got. We'll come back to it. We will okay. come back to it. We can come back to it. All right. Mm -hmm. As long as you feel comfortable. Make a motion to approve the maturing debt to date. I'll second it. It's uh, been moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Six zero zero. <clears throat> so I'm going to have a question for you on the Oxford loan interest on the next, which is the next item on. Okay. <clears throat> so if we were to pay mm -hmm. this year mm -hmm. that yep. two hundred eighty-five thousand, the interest that would be due on that is approximately twelve thousand or something um, like that. Is that what you I were saying? Do Give it. or yeah, take. Like, yeah, they're fourteen thousand something like that. <clears throat> yeah. 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 So if we were to pay that this year, mm -hmm. uh, we would reduce the interest payments by twenty thousand dollars, a little more actually. This in the current year. Mm -hmm. um, I think we planned on paying the February one, and then it's fourteen thousand for the last three, right? So we're still going to pay this one, right? We're still going to pay the thirty-eight and fourteen thousand to pay it off. So three payments plus fourteen thousand, ninety-five. Do you know what I'm saying? No. Oh. <laughs> Two eighty-five. You didn't look 14. like you did. Yeah. No. So we um, just maybe we just paid it, or we, we are paying yep. it tomorrow, right. the 95000 yep. right. and then they reduced the interest that we owed. Instead of 38000 it was actually 13262 or something like that. Right. So they gave um, us credit yes, for yes, the, yes. the um, payments that we made um, mm -hmm. ahead of schedule with, so with the land right. sales. What you're going to pay them tomorrow is 108000 It's... Uh, I don't know if I have it in here. Ninety-five thousand plus thirteen thousand. Hundred eight thousand. Two sixty-two. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. And I do have that. Too. What I was what I was getting at. We have three more payments after that. Yes. Uh, two hundred eighty-five thousand. And if we paid that two hundred eighty-five thousand this year. To. In other words, if we accelerated this and paid it and this paid year it before the, the end mm -hmm. of the fiscal year, correct. The debt would be approximate. The, the interest on that. Would right. be approximately twelve thousand dollars. Fourteen. Yeah. Fourteen. Yeah. Uh, I see. And and, and and what we have budgeted here is And what we're budgeting is thirty five thousand right. for one payment. Right. right. Well, right. actually, it's well, it's three, but it's, it's it's for one payment, but it's for those yeah. three. It's two hundred eighty five thousand for whatever the term is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, that's. You look for three. Oh no, I thought I had my other. So we could save twenty thousand dollars, actually a little bit more, mm -hmm. you know, because right. we'd only have that would be the end of it all over and, and if we go out mm -hmm. two more years we're gonna have 35 and 22 and 10 or something like that 35 32 and 29 is the interest scheduled to be paid yeah yeah but whether those are real real numbers like I guess that's a question too if they're real um, numbers for, for what's due for I think so this one got reduced because we made a payment in August so that's within this fiscal year that's why that got reduced off there okay yeah I think the other one okay. would hold. Yeah. yeah, I just did, I'm not going to beat a dead horse there, but I just mm -hmm. want to say there is. It's out there. Exists. That's why I wanted to yep. just kind of. Yep. yep. Okay. Absolutely. Make a motion we approve uh, interest on maturing debt, hundred sixty-seven thousand eight hundred fifteen dollars. Mm -hmm. And we'll see what uh, <laughs> we'll see what right. borrowing for sewer brings at a later date. So this again, this will be it will be back with this update. Too. I'll yeah. second that. It's moved, seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Six zero zero. The other thing is that um, I'll be renewing that roof um, payments in April, so we'll find out exactly what that interest is going to be on that one. Right. So that <coughs> might adjust. That could be, be adjusted too mm -hmm. before the interest on the roof. You know, the rates are. Oh, we have. There's no interest in here. Well, well, we have twelve thousand in 12, just okay. as a place marker. Really. Right. It's okay. More than it's kind of flat, which. Tonight. Um, I mean, we'll be borrowing less, but uh, the rates have crept up, so I'm not quite sure what to expect. But it'll, okay. it's uh, okay. renewing April 11th. So. What's the term on that? Uh, a no, year. there isn't. One we, year. We, we, we just brought up one annually. year. Yeah. Annual, right. One year note. It's just a ban. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It and seems a lot in take, borrowing. How long will it take to pay it off? Ten years. Mm -hmm. No, at this at this well, point, I think we might have four or five years left. Because we're still so we're having donations also yet. Oh, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's true. Yeah. But the total, the, we, we owe roughly a million dollars on it when we get finished with it, so. Uh, the loan is for 700000 700, But I mean, the yeah. total that yeah, we were obligated to, to pay was approximately a million dollars for, for the town's share. 
So that's all finalized. <coughs> all the paperwork, all our payments have been received. Oh, yes, yes. That's all yes, done. It's closed oh, out. Correct. Yes, the project is closed out. Yes. 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 It only took it a couple, take a while, but it's done. Two or three years. They did. Yeah. They did short us on the last payment because we received donations. Yeah, they want to know how much. So there was a little bit infuriating. Well, next but time we'll know, right? Not That's to right. tell them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no. Next time we'll, we we will never use that group again. <laughs> <laughs> donations right, right. are that was, yeah. <laughs> Well, that was an MSBA subsidized thing. Oh. So yeah. Okay. Group insurance. Okay. 914, 5400, 914, oh, uh, 5410. They were already uh, approved. Oh, they one. did that one last year. Correct. 914. That's in the book already, I think. Yeah, yeah, that one was in your book. Uh, it's under heading. Which, which one are we talking about? 914 and 5400. The nine, town. Nine fourteen. Group insurance nine town. Fourteen, okay. Yep. What happened to nine eleven? Uh, yeah. uh, apparently, Sintab we must have eight. come back to that. Oh. Sintab eight. Why is it Sintab Sintab eight? Anybody looking for it? Uh, sorry, eight and nine are both in tab eight because the, just limited uh, tabs to use for other things. And <laughs> since there was only one eight, it was just simpler. You ran out of tabs. Yeah, ran out of tabs. Eight A. There's only twelve. What's that? Eight A. Eight B. Yeah. That's right. Right. They did that last year, didn't, didn't they? So. No, nah, so that's too much work. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get paid enough for that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any questions? Group insurance. How much? It, so the group insurance is going up. Um, yeah. Do, do they have my? Um, they do not. Uh, do you want them to have that? Oh, I think we handed that out last week. Maybe we didn't. Do you have the? Uh, no, we didn't. Here, the do. backup details. Do you want the have? backup details? Well, I think it's helpful. I think. Yeah, so. I, think I do. Good. Yeah. I have some. Oh, okay. So um, the group insurance is um, for the town yep. facilities and okay. personnel. Um, this is personnel. This is this is uh, medical insurance. Medical insurance. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I think she's making some. She's more making though. some more. So, um, I don't know how to start on this one. <laughs> Is the 289, 200 the, the right amount? The what? 289,200 dollars. Uh, for for or us. Or is the, the amount that you have of 288, yeah. 313? Well, Which one is uh, again, I I work on this and work on this and work on this, but I would go by the cover sheet. This is just kind of how I got there a, a little bit within a thousand dollars. Each time I think of something, I don't. You want to explain? Always. That? Well, uh, this is this is why this is why I didn't bother um, completely completely fixing it. Um, I mentioned to you the other day that um, we had a group insurance meeting and we voted yep. um, to put forward some um, plan changes. In other words, we've been addressing the rising cost of health insurance by raising um, the plan costs and by offsetting it with capital from the trust. Um, so they, we've, we've come about, I think there's 69 towns and in, in entities uh, that are part of the trust. So as a group, we have decided to make some plan changes, which requires us to um, enter into negotiations with our unions. And so when you enter into negotiation with the unions, they have a right to 25% um, of the savings to negotiate some sort of offset for 25% yeah. of the savings. So what I did is I took all of those numbers and, and, and on top of that we're not increasing the plan costs. Right. So the, the original detail sheet I, I handed out to you was based on before that vote. So it included um, I think about a 3% um, plan yeah, increase said, well, approximately. So we ended up voting this um, to go forward with the plan changes and holding on the plan costs. So then I ran all of those numbers through this whole same thing again, and it came up within twenty thousand dollars. So I, I didn't really change my budget right. because I don't know what they're going to end up negotiating. Maybe it's a hair more or less. 
So. <laughs> we won't know that until they finish the right. wage negotiations. Right. So I'm just saying, um, between the way I normally figure it out <clears throat> and the way that it might go with the you know stagnant um, plan cost, but the negotiations, I think it's all basically um, represented in this budget. Either way, maybe ten, more or less, twenty thousand dollars at the most, one way or another. So, <laughs> just so you know, I haven't worked in there with plan costs. So the the, the unions haven't. The right to negotiate. How about non-union employees? Do they have a right to negotiate? So well, who's it, negotiating it's for them? That we have to bring this um, up for negotiations. With so, the non-union employees with as well. The union. It doesn't keep you from negotiating right. with the other people, but you're required by law to negotiate with the. But we're not required to negotiate with the non-union. Correct. Right. That's correct. And. The twenty five percent. They're outside. The boat. <laughs> the twenty five percent of the of the projected, projected savings. Projected savings. Yeah. They they can get a portion of that to reduce their. Uh, it's uh, up for negotiations. And understood. They can, right, but right, they right. could take. Somehow they're going to. They get could it. take twenty five percent of what their savings are and then right. add that to their their cost of their insurance, reduce their insurance. Mm -hmm. It's part of a bargain. So. Like we just, I mean, the savings is X and there's a hundred dollars. Really, I don't look at it as savings. It, 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 no, it I know. It costs really us more, so now exactly. it's not costing us as much more. <laughs> I know. It's so a cost. The, no, it's a cost. So it's the yeah. difference between the high and low. It as a savings, but. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's where they. I know. They Again, that's, that's. But it is. Mm -hmm. I think kind it's about, unfair. Um, you know, we had, we had talked about it last year. It almost happened last year, and uh, Diana had worked with me on trying to project how much that would be and I think we came up to about 19,000 um, so yep. for my purposes here I used about 20,000 just figuring that you know, so they would take 25% of that that would be the 25% maximum that is 20, 25% yeah. yeah yeah so so anyway I think it's a solid budget no matter what happens I, I flushed it through okay so two ways <laughs> which which what you're looking for is mm -hmm. is the yeah. uh, one hundred eighty nine thousand two hundred dollars. Uh, two hundred eighty nine. I'm sorry. Yeah. Two hundred eighty. Yeah. I tried. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Two hundred eighty nine. Two hundred dollars. Yeah. For for the uh, town. But yeah, and that after being offset by the other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any further questions? Any questions? Any I discussion? See what's basically the same thirty seventy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, That's where it's been for a while. Right. So we, we still split the this last year we split it mm -hmm. and this year we're splitting it again. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Could I have a vote? Could I'll I have move. a motion, Mather? I'll move. Second? I'll second it. It's moved and seconded. If there's no further discussion, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Abstentions? So that's a six zero zero. Yes. Mm -hmm. And for the schools, same. Mm -hmm. I'll move. Second. It's moved. Seconded. Uh, any any discussion? It's the next page. Nine fourteen fifty four ten. Nine fourteen fifty four ten. And I think that was in the budget. That was in the book. This was previously, yeah. 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 <clears throat> what shared teachers? What does that mean? Um, if we have a teacher, sometimes there's a teacher that works, um, say, full time between the three schools. Okay. okay. So they work uh, half time teacher. here yeah. and whatever. So we have the insurance, so I uh, manually bill the build other that. towns for, right. you know, if they're in Sunderland for point two and they're in Conway for point three, then I send out. Um, invoices twice a year. For and that includes all the common for the health insurance. The health insurance. Just for the health insurance, because the person can only be on the health insurance in one place. So yes, I'm they're sure. usually here. Yep. And then, uh, however much they work in the other towns, I bill them. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Open. What? Open. Vote on that. We have a vote. Well, I was just no on the oh. same on the subject. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing. You know, open should be <coughs> the uh, mm -hmm. 
we don't we don't get anything for the OPEP costs from the school, and they don't from, the, from the other towns. And I asked the question that the from not, the school. From that's the school. That's two thirds of the. I I know what I'm saying is the shared. If if we had a policy of collecting OPEP from the school, maybe we could enforce that. But yeah. We don't even collect it from the school, so. But there are employees. The, the, what we're collecting here would not be the town. There are employees. Um, the majorly are employees. Well, I know, but a portion of them are not town employees. Well, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. That's why um, I really thought that it was good to separate out the town and the, and the school mm -hmm. health insurance costs, yep. especially with OPEB coming up, whereas mm -hmm. um, we certainly couldn't have taken that on. <clears throat> completely and this on completely the budgets and maybe at some point it'll live on their budget and it'll be on our budget and we'll all be able to work our own you know at we, some point can we use the OPEP money we paid to pay this at, no, I'm not saying now but at some time in the future our retiree well, retiree only expenses our retiree expenses yes mm -hmm. Okay, to pay the retiree. We pay 50% of the retirees, so we could use the OPEB to pay our 50% of the retiree costs. Okay. Okay. Uh, but they don't have any budget line item for OPEB either. Because we asked the question at the last. They don't line item the group insurance either, do they? No. We, we no. just have no. it as a We just notation. have it as a donation. Yeah. No. It should. We should do push it. it should. It should live in their budget. It should. Do we have any retired employees or retired employees? Where do they show up in the budget? In the group insurance budget? Yeah. Yeah. They're, in they're the private. town? In the teachers? <coughs> Both. 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 Just yeah. like I have it in my <coughs> thing there. There's no breakdown, though. That's what you're asking. Oh, well, Active there's a, a breakdown in my um, that. This Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. <clears throat> all right. All those in favor, or is it no? We need a vote. We need a vote. Yeah. Need a vote. Skipped, um, yeah, somebody vote it if you would. Right now, yeah. I think um, he's going to go back to it. Oh, okay. Uh, approve or recommend this item. Okay. I'll second it. So it's we have a motion before us to approve or recommend. All those in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Six zero zero. Yep. Okay. And then the last one is the next page, and I think I don't know if this is in there or not. Medicare nine sixteen fifty four hundred. It's not the last one. We have one more to do after that. Correct. Do we do workers' comp? We did that the other night. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Those were the two that we had voted. Okay. Any questions on the Medicare? Yeah, well, is it increased because of the number of employees? Uh, yeah, it's a salary calculation that I do. Um, and where did we get the additional employees? School? They wanted to hire two. Well, I, even if it's not additional employees, it's the salaries. The, the oh, all salaries. right. That's, that's all the wages up, so. go up. Yeah. It's total wages. It's 1.5 yeah, it of the right. wages. It's yeah. the same as retirement. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty simple calculation. The retirement goes up, everything it. goes up. Just take the budgeted salaries and multiply it by whatever five, rate Five percent. Five percent. One point four five. One point four five for Medicare. Medicare is one. No, I know, but the increase. <clears throat> yeah. Um, uh, three point five percent. That's uh, how I I've so been uh, doing it, and it's been coming out well. So okay. I keep doing it's it. It's not it's not total <laughs> salary times the increase. In yeah, salary. it might be. Um, some things that Medicare doesn't apply to. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you take it out and then figure Medicare. So I've been using three and a half percent and it's been coming out like All right. right. Yeah. Make a motion to approve it. How come we don't have an offset for scams? Um, because theirs is right. uh, billed directly to their budget. Yeah. They're billed directly to the budget. Sure, because I have two payroll accounts. So um, the payroll bill goes to scams and they pay their bill. In other words, um, it's separate. I don't have to cost it out to them. Right. So they take care of their own Medicare. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're a whole separate company within within the payroll system. Yeah. Okay. We have a motion. I made a motion. I thought you did. Moved. Is it seconded? Second. 
Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Extension 600. Okay. Now you want to go back to Frank. You need to go back two or three pages to 911 5400. Right. This is a number we just we just <laughs> finalized this, today. This is just you we just were go. just typing away at the end of the day. At the end of out tonight? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Franklin County Regional Retirement. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Well, this could change. No, this is, based on this is too. done. Solid. This is, we get a bill for this. What? Last year's salary. That's mm -hmm. how we calculate it. That's how I calculate it. For they're, they're, they have a very no, complicated okay. formula. But, but it I is, we years. calculate on last yep. year's salary. For, so, for the other three departments, right. correct? Yeah. It's a simple, simple yeah. calculation. calculation or simpler Actually, than my calculation's right in the notes. <laughs> So this this is this is everybody, right? Yep. yep. Okay. It was higher here last year. Well, it, it's the bill that we got, yeah. and, it, and it covers everybody. However, the calculation is made. Well, yeah, I, we can't get hung up too much on how the how I came. I, I I do everything based on some some kind of data rather than just kind of guessing. So, um, I think the data um, kind of guides us um, pretty well. So. It allows for a little, at least it has so far. So are you in, include the COLA also? Is that part of the calculation? Or that they whatever, are included? whatever their regular pay is. Just regular pay? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, overtime, overtime is not included right. in, in the retirement figure. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Yeah, so uh, we, we get the bill from um, county retirement. And then uh, to do our offsets, that's what we are waiting for, yeah. is to figure out what the assessment percentage is so that we could figure out how yeah. to cost it out to the others. In South County, uh, sewer yeah. came, went down? Uh, the senior center, they were understaffed. They had that kind of in-between time, so their salary was a little lower last year. Last year. Correct. Yeah, okay. yeah. So now it's been corrected. I think we have something on the annual special town meeting to adjust. Uh, we yeah, did, we did to adjust their their total mm -hmm. budget. The yes. total yeah. budget. And yeah. Some of it was. Yeah. We probably should have made that one more because it's going to be full It'll this be. year. Right. It will be for next year. For next year, you're talking about the fifteen. No, right? we're going to pay yeah. this year ten thousand right. dollars right. more. We like will. 20, so 000. next year, so next year it'll be in their budget. Yeah. That's how it works. We oh, base okay. it. We based it on a calendar it's year's like a worth of salary. Oh, okay. So yeah. was, they're going to be okay until. June next 30th. year, next year you'll see that one go up. Next yeah. year, it'll, go up it'll be a twenty full year. plus whatever mm -hmm. it is. So this this is one of the items that this along well, mm -hmm. that that really is killing us because if you take a look at it, from fourteen to twenty six years, mm -hmm. we've gone from four hundred forty thousand to six hundred forty thousand per round figures. It's two hundred two hundred thousand yeah. dollars between that and group insurance and uh, group insurance. But mm -hmm. this has been mm -hmm. increasing faster than group insurance. Mm -hmm. pretty, yeah, pretty close. So. Mm -hmm. Well, all the retirees, in, they, they're given a 3% cola. Mm -hmm. The uh, next year. So. Yeah. I think yeah. So. Well, I, and they were I, voting. I don't know if they voted on it yet or not. Um, I don't know. I their calculation is, is a little vote. weird because yeah. it's only on the first. 17,000. Oh, I was going to say 15 or something. I thought yeah. it was 12,000. Yeah. Used to be. So, yeah, it's up. They, they bumped that I up. Get, I think it was long What's long. that? Retirees? Yeah. Yeah, so they only get a 3% cola on that. On, on $390, $13,000. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, no, but what, I, what I wanted to point out, mm -hmm. teachers are not in this. Mm -hmm. they, had their, they had their own. Teachers, no, well, had their yeah, own right. Teacher, right. teachers right. paid through the state. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't mean there the isn't AIDS. school personnel in yeah, it. Yeah, no, AIDS, but the, the teachers, you, can, the, but right. you can imagine what this would be if the if teachers were in, were in I there. Know, I know. Instead of being 600000 be one and a half million dollars. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's, yeah. It's killing us, yeah. frankly. Yep. This is the large, I think this is the, the, uh, the item that we have the least control over, and it's increasing it. We have no control over it. Astronomical. So it? The police and. Every, every employee in the town, other than those that are paid, um, I, I think 
those who are paying into the teacher's retirement system. Yeah. Right. Any, anybody who's working more than tw 20 hours a week or more. Yeah. Right. Anybody, anybody's more. in the retirement That's, system. Some more, actually. Okay. Yeah. Some more. They, oh, right. It could be more than that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So do you want a motion on this? To not pay it? <laughs> no. Is there anything we can do to reduce it? Fire everybody. From what I understand, we have a rep that for the retirement board mm -hmm. that will vote on the annual increases for COLA anyway. Mm -hmm. um, that's one way we can reduce it, but it's minimal. Right. That's the, the other thing too is the whole, you know, <laughs> we can make it. Self-funded. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, that's kind that's of what the idea. Is like. It used yeah. to be 2025, Correct. used to be 2030. Now it's right. whatever. And I think um, it's, very it's, loosely, it's, speaking um we're on this target um kind of in a mandated format to to make ourselves self-funded yeah, at some like point OPEB. whereas opeb um they're kind of thinking that that's going to maybe mirror this at yes. some point where they're going to say hey you got this thing that's you need to up. pay it so now we're going to say you need to pay it by whatever but you know i mean that's that's far out but i think that's the idea is um you know, to be on this path of self-funded, and I think eventually uh, OPEB could probably be looked at in the same way. But this total amount of money is not for retirees. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's a, let's say it's, as an example, a third of it's money retirees receive. The other two thirds mm -hmm. is the catch up for the people that are going to retire. Same as OPEP. Right. It's a, it's a, so it's you'd a, be fully right. funded by a certain year. Correct. That's why it's so high. Yes. Well, the, the other and thing. that was not the decision of the town. That was right. made what by the term. Term. Pension. Pension. Pension reform. retirement. Yeah. 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 And mm -hmm. they said that we had to uh, try and catch try. up by 2033. Right. Yes. Yep. It was 2028. Then they gave us five more years. Mm -hmm. Do. Do we have anyone in the retirement system mm -hmm. who is paying less than 9% of their salary into the... Uh, I don't know. We might have. If we do, it's only a few. One a couple, or two. two. Yeah. 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 So... All the people on the finance committee are paying less. Yes. We are. <laughs> but in addition to this, the employees are paying 9%. So whatever, you know... 11. 11? 11. 11. 11. 11. Well, 9 and 2. Yeah. Nine yeah. and two, but that's two is only over a certain. But all the over new teachers, are, all the right, all the new teachers are eleven flat, are they? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, started. I don't know a few handful of years ago. Okay. Okay. So. So eleven percent in addition to this. And there's been in well, between. Some people are seven, or you know, they went pay. five, seven, nine. Teachers do pay. They don't pay to this. This they pay. Right. But they pay that eleven percent. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Right. Well, you all pay a little. Well, yeah, just so everybody pays 11% no matter what retirement mm -hmm. fund you're in. Yeah. Well, no, there's... Mm -hmm. there, there, is, there are some that are that are paying under, but... Right. Uh, Most are 9 and 2. 2 over 30. 2% 2 yeah. on anything. Over 30,000 yeah. a year. And there isn't many people making less than 30 in this right. town. But it's it's only that amount that's over the 30 that you're paying the 11. The extra 2. The two. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But there are also some who are down in the seven percent range because that's what. Yeah, I'll have to look at it. Like there's not five or something like that. I, one or two at this honestly, point. Honestly, yeah. I know there's not very many people no. under nine at all. No. No. And I think Dale Kowacki is doing a great job. At least he's making six to seven percent interest. Yes, on the they money. are. They're managing it um, very well. Yes, mm -hmm. it's uh, just a, a just tough pill to swallow. Tough pill yeah. to swallow for the yep. parents. Yeah, it's getting it done. And I, what I don't know is what's going to happen when we, mm -hmm. when we reach the, the so-called end. Right. I don't think it's an end, though. It's no, just, we, then we just have to pay for pay the for current. Current. Right. Yeah. We won't pay the it, it, it would, it's. I've seen the schedule. It's a drastic. Big that's yes. when the OPEP kicks in. It's, <coughs> that would that make was sense the to do that. One of the, yeah. That's one of the philosophies in the state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. 
you're paying okay. now, so let's not give it away. Let's keep. You're used to paying it, it, right? Just That's keep right. Going. Why not? Let's keep taking it away. <laughs> Part of your budget. Just, to recommend yeah. this. Item. <laughs> right. Are you, are you, are you, are you trying to speed us up? I we mean, have a motion. Second. I'm gonna go to work in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> we have a motion. Okay. We have a motion. I seconded it. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. All right. Opposed. Six zero zero. And we did workers' comp. And we did workers' comp and unemployment. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. That was all. All three I of those were. Last, I was going to say. Next I meeting. No. We don't yeah. want to wrong did term. you say something? No, not them. Okay. Right. Do you have any others, Brenda? What's that? Do you have any others? others? Well, uh, we have we the, do, the first con core assessment that. I got this afternoon, remember? Um, General insurance, right in the middle. And that's 830-5400. That's, oh, that's a set right. fee if you want to vote that because it's a pretty simple uh, thing. We also have general insurance. And general insurance. Yep, those would be the other two. What were you going to say? 96. Well, if you like, excuse me. Uh, tonight? Uh, um, no, I don't believe so. You don't need me for general insurance. Yeah. Yeah, but they're doing the general insurance. What was that number again, Skip? 196. 196. It's the only 196. Yeah. They'll come back to the first log, <coughs> I think. The general insurance is insurance on the buildings. Did you decide on for You voted that? Oh, are you doing general insurance? We're doing general insurance. Okay. All right, so... Um, Diana did uh, look at this a little more closely and felt that even if there was an increase, we have a little bit of a buffer, so we're leaving it as is. Okay. Level funded. I'll okay. move the motion. Um, move the question. Move. I have a, right. The question. Second. <laughs> you have a question? Yeah. Okay. Um, with the um, skim payment, lease payment, the skims are making the lease payment to the town, to the building. They have not. They, but when they do. When they do. <laughs> will we be having an offset in this? Is there an insurance on that building? There is insurance on that building. Okay. And it's going to be in the 61000 mm -hmm. Okay. We'll be paying it using part of the $36,000. Well, that 36000 would have to go fund. into the general fund, so... Eventually, yes. Yeah. But, Is this just but for? I would just let you know that that group is very opposed to it going into the general fund. And that's that's too bad. I know. And they <laughs> then they want it in. That's a play way they, to they want it. They want it in a stabilization <laughs> account. And that's what. Yeah, they, they can't. They can't do a stabilization fund unless they unless the town votes that at a at a I town meeting. So, so they have to bring it up. And make correct. It, so that would be the, a suggestion to them. I just want to bring it out because we have two selectmen there. We had three, and they and they all agreed that all these bills would be paid to the other commissioners. Mm -hmm. And it was misleading and needs to be straightened out. Yes, I agree. Thank you. Okay. I think we did straighten it out. Just did. Question: Is this just for uh, property and building damages? What about liability insurance? It's in there. It's in there. General, general insurance includes our, our vehicles, buildings, liability. Includes liability. So if, a, so if somebody in the police department accidentally shoots somebody, yeah. it's covered under this. Accidents, any kind of accident the, coverage the, and yes. No, yes. we get sued. Yes, yeah. Yes. The police, the police yes. actually have another another well, I, I insurance. Not, that's yeah, that's a different. That's thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're okay. talking about professional. Yeah. I mean, per, official Pardon? liability coverage. If an official does something, yes, that the so town has to If they don't like what you say at a meeting, then they yes. sue you. And you pay. <laughs> yes, you're covered. <laughs> and there, it covers a general bond too for officials that don't have specific bonds too. So the liability under sixty one thousand? <coughs> there is. Can we get a breakdown of that? Can how we get how a, you calculated the sixty one thousand? Uh we may be I don't know how if they if Maya breaks it down for us. That number comes from Maya. It's our premium the, you know, the, calculation. It, it is broken down because I have to build a school for their portion and uh, the library takes on their portion and SCEMS takes on their portion. So Okay. So as soon as we get that, we haven't received that invoice for And for they're this not included year, in this, right? Or they are, they included. are included. Well it's included in the okay. in the whole insurance <clears throat> bill, but then I split it based okay. on their on their um, 
breakdown. Yeah. Well, that was a question I had two years ago. Why are we only charging scams $50 for liability? Because, because I, as I've told you multiple times, it's because Maya has said they cannot break out that liability specifically. So that's the best they can do is give us that number. That's the poorest excuse I've ever heard. Okay. And you can tell them I said so. I agree okay. with that. Because to if say, scams, if to scams say didn't I'm exist. running a business, I spent five and ten thousand dollars minimum liability insurance every year, and they're running a million dollar business, and you're telling me they're a fair insurance guesstimate is fifty dollars. There's something wrong with that. How about the wastewater treatment plant? I agree, John. Absolutely. There's no the doubt about that. Wastewater treatment plant doesn't make sense. Um, I'm trying to remember if I break out. I, I believe they that insurance is broken out too, but not liability, no. So we could bill on 50 bucks for liability. We, I mean, we can always look at our indirect, you know, costs with these agencies at any time. You can come up with any kind of formula I don't care what we do as long as it's fair. I just look at look $50 at a year is grossly unfair. Do they pay, do they have a separate policy for professional liability? Skims? Not that like I know. if they mistreat a patient? Not that I know. So that's in the 50 I, bucks? I don't know. Do oh, they may have some other kind of, OEMS might have some other kind of coverage for that type okay. of thing. I'm no, not sure not, about whether we're covering them for that kind of liability. Be, we should check we'll we'll find, again. we'll check into that. That's a good question. It is a good question. Yeah, that's, we, good question. that's the biggest liability we have. That's right. That, that's very true. OEMS does have additional concerns. There have been, there was an accident. Didn't they have an accident with one of the vehicles? Yes, a couple of them. Couple of them. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Are we make a motion. You want to beat this some more? <laughs> I'm not beating it. I'm just, I, I agree I'll with something. It's stupid. It's stupid. It is. Fifty bucks is really. I thought we voted. It is. Voted, it is. To be honest with you. Okay, we have a motion to second. I second. All those in favor. Second. Skip second. I second. Are we voting? Is it time? Yes, to we're time? Time? voting. All those in favor. Aye. 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 Six zero. Who won? Five zero one. Sixty one thousand. Five zero one. Up then what? made a motion. Okay. Skip second. That's what I thought. Okay, thank you. So it's five it was five, five zero, zero one. one. Got yeah. it. Okay. And and we've got one more? Yep. In your tab eight, eight thirty dash fifty four hundred is the FERCOG core assessment. What number again? I'm sorry. Eight three zero dash fifty four hundred. Can we approve it? I'll second it. Eight, three, Any four, discussion? Four, four, Hearing none, all of those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Six zero zero. Great. Okay. Next meeting. Next Tuesday, six Next o'clock. Next Tuesday, six o'clock. We will, um, oh, I need to send John that six. email. I was, uh, we were going to see if the police would come. John's and, coming. I already the, told Dr. John. Good. Yep. And the library is coming that night. Library's coming and uh, health. Oh, is Dick coming too? Dick's coming too. Great. Health. <clears throat> Whatever you want to call. What did we say? Next Tuesday? Next Tuesday. 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 Oh, and whoever else we can, we can talk I'm not into. Available next week. <clears throat> oh, you're not. I have a recurring board meeting on Tuesday, once a month on Tuesdays. So can't, can't miss that, well, no. Right? Well, yep. You miss them, but like every other. So that's the last one. We didn't go over the month end reports, but I assume we'll do that sometime. Yeah. If you have questions, you can always ask them. Or at least have the question. You know, I don't know that anybody saw them until today. A month end reports. Oh, maybe not. No, they, I, no, I put those, I did, those were there Friday <coughs> morning. Yeah. They were. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Will you also be reviewing the special town meeting? We will have um, warrant at that we'll meeting. Too late. What's what's that? Will you be looking at the special town meeting warrant? Um, I believe the board will yes. have that for you. Maybe we should it'd be nice to have it in our boxes so we can get it and yes. look at it at home. But, but just the warrant. Yeah. yeah, it's just no going to be the warrant, right? Which you were mostly interested in. I would like to see the motion. Yes. Because the motion has got to have us? the hard and fast figures. Right. Um, yes, after tomorrow night. 
before your meeting? Yes, I can. Yeah, after the board reviews it and has discussion about it, I can send so you. So when is the board meeting next after tomorrow? Um, I believe, I don't, I'm not sure if they have a meeting scheduled. Their next meeting would normally be in two weeks, but the warrant has to be signed tomorrow because it has to be posted. And the town Monday. meeting is on the? February 25th. 25th. So I right. would expect the board would meet that at week least, before. At then? least on the that 20th. February 20th, right. Yes. Okay. That's right. That would be their next regular meeting. If they don't have a special one <coughs> between them. Yeah. It would be nice if we could get town council to get the motion written so it's possible to see it. Yeah. We have a draft. I think it's just um, getting the board to agree that that is. Maybe they'll do that tomorrow night? Yes. Okay. And if that's the case, then we'll, if they do, then we'll look at it. We can get it via email. Yes. Mm hmm But we can discuss it at the next week. Next week. Excellent. And Thank if you. there's something to discuss, then maybe we would ask the selectmen to join us or we would join them. Join them. We can put a call it a selectman. One day they close. Well, the warrant has to be, the warrant I believe is going to be closed tomorrow night. Warrant. Yeah. But that's the warrant. Right. Then the motions yeah. will, can But that's the warrant. Yeah, it's by the motion, you, right. can, you can drive a truck through the warrant. No, I, I understand. We never discuss revenue projections versus projected expenses. I, I hope that's on next week's agenda. I would agree yeah. with you. We're, we've already two hours and 15 minutes, so I'm just going to skip. Well, and I haven't had a chance to put all the revenues together either, so. Okay. It's, it's, I can tell you, it's, it's tight. It's, it's ugly, ugly, huh? It's yeah, ugly. it's ugly. It's ugly. And we don't know, we'll what, be, we yeah. really don't know what the hell the schools are doing with their capital plan. Um, this, as I think, I think I, you all got the email that I sent. I talked to the superintendent, yep. and they don't have their budgets uh, complete. Well, they're not going to have them for a while yet. Plus, we have another student going to Franklin we have, Tech, so Franklin Tech will go up. No, Franklin Tech. It's it's not Franklin Tech. I thought it was. Uh, it's Smith. 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 So that'll go up. And according to according to Darius, the the. Uh, program that that student is going on. It's one of our students. It's got three students in the district who look like they're applying there. Uh, it was uh, criminal justice. Yep. Three program. students, you said? There are three students in, in, in the eighth grade. Oh, but yeah, one, from one, Deerfield. Deerfield. Yeah. Yeah. one from Deerfield. Okay. And the one from Deerfield, as I understand it, is looking at a criminal justice yeah. program. And it's yeah. kind of like, you know, I think the time has come to scream and holler at uh, some of these programs. It, it's another it's a brand new program. It's a brand new program yeah. designed to do what? Give Attract students, students yeah. I assume. That's right. Can I make a motion to adjourn this meeting? Are we, no. Are we done? Are we uh, yes. Are we done with con content here? And We've got a motion on the table. We second. second it. we got a motion. we got a second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? We are adjourned.